Hey everybody, Jason Shadrick here at Premier Guitar Headquarters. We have another live stream performance Q&A for you. Today we have Corey Brandon He's coming in. His new record, Adios, comes out April 7th. And uh, we're going to play some songs off of that, I hope. Yeah, right? at least, yeah, at least one. All right, so we're going to have Corey take it over, play a couple songs. If you have any questions about the guitar he's playing, anything else, drop them in the comments below, and we'll let Corey kick it off. Thanks for having me out, guys. It's a little early for rock and roll, so uh, here's, a, here's a song uh, maybe in the range that I'm singing at right now. Uh, it's the first song off that record that's coming out, and uh, I got my friends uh, Laura Jane Grace and Dave Haas singing on that track with me. And uh, So just picture pretty stuff over this. I was told this road goes straight to hell But twisted is the lies a liar tells himself So don't ask me how I even got here I only know I ain't gonna go back So what you gonna do with all that youth? Just because it's brutal don't make it truth I left so many of them sipping on that phantom man vermouth And I only know I ain't gonna go back myself alive, I might as well see where it gets me. I only know I ain't gonna go back. I hope you come with me so we can see what happens. I only know, I only know, I only know I ain't gonna go back. <laughs> oh, good Lord, good morning. Yeah, I put new strings. I knew I was coming to Premier Guitar, so I put new strings on this. It was, I took the rusty barbed wire off. All right, I'm staying tuned. I'm usually with the late, great Jim Dickinson on tuning. He used to say tuning was a decadent European tradition. But I'll tune for Premier Guitar. Um, so yeah, just uh, let me think of what might be in this range. It might not be anything off the new record. Uh, yeah, here's one about, it's partially about the reason why I'm singing like this right now. It's a, a love song to the longest relationship I've ever held. Uh, it's a song about whiskey. Uh, the town I come from is mostly sky. Even though the county's dry, didn't stop a stream nearby from giving us his daughter. She was born in a barrel of American oak. She made of sugar maple and charcoal smoke. She just go to show your folks what God can do with water. And when I go below the gloomy ground, you better buy the room around. Better weep and lift the glass of bittersweet sour man. Going through the same old famous, same old blues. Tired of all the crying of you, cussing up a quarreling. Yes, I slipped and sipped a straight. But only to one taste to see the way back to Tennessee to stay. Tennessee, my darling. And when I go to the gloomy ground, you better buy the room around. Better we than lift the bliss. Go to the sweet sour man.
I don't want no Beaujolais. So I get cider Chardonnay, you keep the tequila far away. You know what I'm craving? Lord, it ain't champagne, I'm fine and chill. It's not all right, gut shine and swill. You ask me, life's a cask of bittersweet. As I went. And when I go blow the gloomy ground, you better buy the room around. Better we put the lift up All right, Corey, why don't you tell us a little bit about the uh, the guitar you brought in here to play? Yeah, this is a bourgeois. Uh, a, you know, Dana makes good stuff up there in Maine. Uh, I, I had it for uh, maybe uh, two weeks, and then someone threw a bass cab on top of a case I it with so much force that <laughs> it cracked the top. Uh, and Dana actually fixed it himself, got in there, and a uh, real sweet guy. I went and toured their shop, and... Uh, yeah, they're pretty pretty uh, intense uh, about about their craft up there. So yeah, I, yeah, I, I dig it. It's great. Um, the top's a li little bit braced, a little bit tight, um, but it helps when I'm playing. I get you know, well, I'm lucky enough to play bigger rooms, open it up on tour for you know some bigger acts and stuff like that, and it won't. You know, this thing's not going to feed back. You know, uh, so it's it's pretty great. So so when you're on tour, uh, like when you're playing tonight, what's kind of your acoustic? signal chain you go from the guitar what kind of di oh yeah uh, this run tonight you know i'm, a, I'm with a three-piece so we're you know it's you know, i'm going through i'm going into my reeves custom 50 you know uh uh yeah we're kind of bringing the heat on this tour uh but when i'm playing acoustic normally i do uh i have uh an anthem in here lr bags he was he was kind enough to hook me up with uh his new session di that i really like um it's great it's got um uh, it's a multi-band compressor in it, you know, and it just squeezes the, the, the you know, the bullshit of an acoustic, like 1K, 6.5. <clears throat> and I barely put it on, but it's just enough, um, and it's really, really useful if you can shelve the bass on it. Um, it's got a tape saturation thing that I don't use very much on it, uh, but, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I do. I've done them all, you know, I've, I've used them all over the years. I had a Sunrise, I had the... Uh, trance and all those things but this top the top doesn't move quite enough on here to put out bass on a uh a standard you know transducer type thing so this 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 mic and uh under saddle is perfect you know perfect combination he kind of solved the problem for me, <laughs> for me to work across the mic handles most of it you know it's a pressure sensitive mic that's just on the top and all the way down to like 120 or something like that it's 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 got a lot of bass in the mic but then the, just the problematic feedback crap is handled by the under saddle. That's all it's doing. It's just the bottom. It's a real, real smart design. All right. Uh, another uh, question we had that came in here was, uh, uh, what song off the new album are you especially proud of? Uh, uh, you know how it is. Uh, you know, you know, you only like the one you just wrote. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's a song. Uh, What's well, sort of the, there's a lot of death on the new record, you know. Um, but there was one I wrote, my old man passed about seven years ago, and I wrote one right after that, and I didn't, I never played it out, didn't record it. I thought it was too specific and insular, you know. I wanted it to be useful. I like, I don't like to sing for myself, you know. And, uh, and then my wife's like, just get over yourself. She's like, just play it and see if it means anything to people. And so I got such good reaction to that over the years, you know, just playing it here and there that I finally cut that. That's a song called The Vow, you know. Uh, I, I can actually probably play that in a bit, but I think that's in my range right now. But uh, not to bum anybody out this early in the morning, but yeah, yeah that's great. I mean, there's, uh, we did the record relatively fast. We were down in a studio outside of Oxford, Mississippi, Tweed, and he's got one of the last, uh, since, since we're talking gear, he's got one of the last Trident A-range boards. I think there's maybe seven in existence, you know, all the, all the, uh, Zeppelin and all the Bowie stuff was done on those boards. He was actually showing me a cool trick with the three EQ'd things. He's like, yeah, it's, they're supposed to be, you're supposed to hit one or the other. He's like, but you hit all of them, Ziggy Stardust. It's like, it's like that sort of scooped out thing, you know, and I was just like, that's amazing. I like, he used that a lot. And he's like, yeah, he used that a lot. So we did a, it was great. We got to do a real 70s sounding, you know, 
hi head room left on the record. You know, when the band gets louder, the track gets louder. You know, not just because we added more crap on top of it. So, yeah. So I, I, that was what I was going for. Um, but uh, Robbie Crowell from uh, I'm just rambling. Just stop me at any moment. I just I tend to ramble. Uh, Robbie Crowell uh, who played with Deer Tick and a bunch of other folks, and then James Hag Haggerty Hags, it, Nashville guys will know him, and uh, on bass, and that was it. I handle all the guitars. Um, I usually get great guitar players. You know, Sadler was um, Sadler Baden was on my last record, and Luther Dickinson's been on. But I. Uh, uh, and I usually handle all acoustic. This time I'm gonna do. I was like, I'm doing them all because I get all these great guitar players, and they really, you know, they come in and they f they do these great finesse, subtle, great things, but they're afraid to just, you know, take a dump on my record. And I'm just like, I'm just like, that's what I want. I'm like, yeah, you know. And I'm like, I can do that, you know. I'm like, I'm, I, I don't, I don't care, you know. So it helped. I think it helped a little bit. All right, do you want to play another song? Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you know what, I'm not going to play the vowel. That's a bummer. Uh, <laughs> it's a little too early for that. I mean, I'll play a different kind of bummer. This is a song uh, off of a record I put out a couple years ago called Mutt. Um, and this is... Right in my Tom Waits hangover vocal range right now. about her luck put out a match with a deer she said I'm bored to death and I was born to look you won't wave the hell away from here he said you don't look that tough to me he leaned and lit her cigarette how about you wait to see just what you regret do we get what we get do we get what we get they say it make you stronger First you gotta survive We didn't kill you Make you wish you died We didn't kill you Make you wish you died Struggled to read his knuckle tattoos Beneath the ring and the scar but the left said love, the right said true and She said, please say you got a car It's parked out back, it's pointed out of state It's a recent acquisition, we should probably ditch the plates And it won't get me far enough to ever lose track But yeah, it's plenty car enough for never coming back They say it make you stronger First you gotta survive We didn't kill you, make you wish you died. Yellow duffel in the seat bag yonder. It's a bunch of pretty junk I bought her. And it's yours if you want. Either to you with the flames To me it's the same And she said, no thanks, man My baggage is packed The name on my ankle, the knife in my back But I know this place on our way out of town Is as good as burned out It's as good as burned down It's as good as burned They say it make you strong First you gotta survive We didn't kill you Make you wish you died We didn't kill you We didn't kill you Make you wish you died we Make you wish you died You call that a scar Tear, pillow marks, souvenirs.
Cheers. All right, we've had some more questions come in here real quick. Um, oh, favorite Def Leppard song? Go. Oh, uh, <laughs> I like Rocket. <laughs> no, 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 I know that's a that's a really rare to pick, but I just uh, Satellite of Love. You couldn't say any any farther from Satellite of Love. I just like I never knew what he was singing. Say the Lou. <laughs> like growing up, Say the Lou is my favorite Def Leppard song. No, uh, it's probably like you know, fooling. <clears throat> uh, favorite whiskey. Uh, oh, that's tricky. I like uh, currently, I you know shifts. I like Willet right now. That's good stuff. Uh, we had a lot of Buffalo Trace last night, but I'll uh, drink a bottle of Ten High. You know, if the club gives it to me. <laughs> Was your dad really an accordion player? No, that's actually a song. It's the first cover I've ever put on record. Uh, yeah, there's a song called My Father's an Accordion Player, and that's uh, a buddy of mine, uh, Andy Grooms, out of Memphis. And I've never really uh, covered songs on records because, you know, this voice. <laughs> I don't want to crap on things I like. But, uh, the uh, yeah, he wrote what to me is, like, one of the best Memphis songs. It just goes through this whole bit about... His father was this famous accordion player, like in back in the day. It's like, but rock and roll kind of screwed him over. And it, but his mom used to date Elvis, and she's got some of his shirts, and he like tries them on, but he tells his father he doesn't know any of the songs. And he's like, you know, because because his father said some pretty punk kid made it big while I did bar mitzvah gigs and sweated in the practice rooms. <laughs> it is, it's a, it's a fun tune. So I'll put that at the end. No, my old man was a jet mechanic, <laughs> no accordion. He's a drummer too, you know. Uh, is a hot dog a sandwich? Okay. Uh, let's see. Randy Hansen says, Mrs. Ferguson is a near masterpiece. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Nikki, Nikki Harris Wiley says, she giggles because she told you totally babysat her and her brother and sister. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. And she goes, it's great that you're doing so well. Oh, well, hi. Hello. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, we've had a couple requests for tall green grass. Yeah, I can do that. Is that possible? Yeah, okay. sure. And, oh, one last one. Is Skatelin South a true story? Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, uh, Skatelin South was the uh, skate rink there in North Mississippi. Yeah, and I always joke that it's a place where I learned how to skate, where I learned how to make out, and where I learned how to skate backwards so I could do both at the same time. But, yeah, we were actually cutting that at Arden, and uh, somebody told me that Luther from the North Mississippi All-Stars walked through. And he's just, you know, he saw, saw the tape, you know, what he actually used tape, and uh, saw the reel, and he just goes, the skate land south in Mississippi? And he's just like, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it was a fun place. I don't know what it is now. Probably, a, you know, a check cash and play. All right, so tall green grass? Yeah, sure, yeah. This is one off my second record. Um, Back in Nam. <laughs> Let's see if uh, she'll hold to him. Thanks for coming to band practice. trouble in Choctaw Hill Your sister couldn't make it, I bet you will Knocking back a jelly jar of watermelon wine i never seen a place where the sun came Going wash off all that makeup with a garden hose Watch the freckles sparkle down the radio nose With your lemon yellow ribbons and your bleach blonde hair Blending in the sun till you're barely there Blending in the sun till you're barely there We'll be off the radar, off the map Stretched out in the tall green grass It's only green against the blue It's only me against you And a man who said your dreams won't last Never slept in tall green grass The man that said cuckoo could chew Did some time in the tall green grass with you This is 
midnight, Mississippi star. They get a candy apple moon on the hood of my car. Never could have told me he'd have gone this far. I can't even tell you where the we are. We must be off the radar, off the map. Stretched out in the tall green grass. It's only green against the blue. It's only me against you. Man who said the dreams won't last Never slept in tall green grass The man who said coo 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 choo Did some time in the tall green grass With you Now leave your reservations In the cold red clay We got the tall green grass Off the radar, off the map, stretched out in the tall green grass. It's only green against the blue, it's only me against you. And a man who said your dreams won't last, never slept in tall green grass. And a man who said, Did some time in the tall green grass. Did some time in the tall green grass. Did some time in the tall green grass. <laughs> With you. Couple more last questions, and then maybe we'll finish with a song. Um, people asking to come to Denver. Oh yeah, it's been a piece. Yeah. Yeah. I've Canada. Really any plans to go to Canada? I don't have anything on the books for you know new records, so we'll All be right. everywhere ideally. This um, year. The UK. Come back to the UK. It's been a couple years for the UK too. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, there was one here. This is a little bit of this is your life. Uh, Taya Koffenberg said your voice sounds more manly than. Then when you work together at Slim's in Memphis. Hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? Where'd you end up? <laughs> I think you were you were Colorado or something, right? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here's a question from Austin. What was the deal with the original release of Memphis version of Hell You Say that had three songs that weren't on the actual album? Yeah, we put the record out and then uh, just locally, and then when uh, it, yeah, we got a good publicist and all that. And all that crap, you know. When it, we it, we got a good run on that first record, and we got to play Letterman and all that stuff. So we we took some of the ones off that I didn't really care for, the full band stuff, and put. Uh, I think we added Skateland South actually, and uh, there was just a few more that were a little more uh, in line with what I was wanting the record to be. So yeah, so there's a rare early <laughs> Memphis version floating out there. Mm -hmm. uh, who are uh, Jacob asks? Who are your favorite? Some of your favorite people to play with? Uh, Right now, it's Sean Zorn on drums and uh, <laughs> Alex Green's playing bass. Alex is, used to play keys in the Raining Sound, and Sean plays with uh, Chris Caraba, uh, you know, his, and his side thing, uh, Twin Forks. Yeah, they've been backing me this whole tour. Um, you know, it's always fun to go out on the road with uh, Lucero Boys. You know, did that in October. Yeah, I just I've been I've been lucky enough over the years to since I don't play a kind of music, you know, it's 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 all over the map. So I get to I'm lucky enough to go in sort of the Jason Isbell world, you know, uh, and 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 then I get to open up, you know, like for Gaslight Anthem and you know against me and stuff like that. So you know, I just sort of I go wherever the work is, you know, and I've just been lucky enough to make some some good friends out of people that I that I would just be digging anyway, you know. Excellent. So you want to finish with uh, end with a song? Uh, sure. <clears throat> Let me which, see. Um, which song you think you might be a good one hmm. to end with? Something super sad. It's, oh, super sad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, let me see. Does anybody have any last minute requests on the internet? You gotta get them in quick. The corner. Oh, geez, that's about my career. That's super sad. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, Easy see. enough. Yeah, Liz Pierce requested the corner. Okay. I think I know that name. I, I probably babysat her too. Apparently, I have a very profitable babysitting business. Right I mean, I 
am from Mississippi, so babies, that person that said I babysat them, they probably just meant I, their mom asked me to keep them from falling off a pontoon boat for a couple hours. This is, babysitting's loose down there. Smoke my last cigarette. Now, once I had a casual acquaintance with my impending doom, and years ago she promised me someday soon. But how I've moved from room to room to room. Ain't been transcended much of nothing. I've been down in it. I ain't free. Experiment. These seven years they went like a life out of me. And clowning on the corner of almost gone. Maybe not just yet. There's still a little left to pawn. If the bones aren't set, the cast is slack. The plaster's wet. up the escalator hell I am out of here past the predetermined terminals the tears the wings are warm the runway is clear but I ain't transcending much of nothing I'm still down in it I ain't free we're no experiment these seven years they went like a life All the world's a hollow recreation My desperate brethren A hallowed blue hallucination We play to win Put your right foot out Put your right foot in But it's a useful little illusion It'll lose you for a song In the beautiful confusion You've been down and counting on down in it. I ain't free. We're no experiment. Hell, every tear was rent like a lie, like a lie out of me. Down on the corner what I want and what I tend to get. Day drinking and dreaming of you. I let the ashtray smoke my last.